Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Hexer is here, and today we will be covering a build to counter the new crossover Final Fantasy monster known as the Behemoth. Now, the build is surprisingly powerful while boasting a massive amount of defense and resistance in this setup. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the gear. Now, for the weapon, we do have the Terra Sword Decay augmented with both health regen and defense increase. Now, the defense augment is really overlooked, um, but it does have the inherent ability to reduce incoming damage in addition to the armor. This is similar to the Divine Blessing um, at attribute. Now, for the gear, we do have the Nerd Gigante Helm Beta, Cold Chest Alpha, Val Gamma Braces, Cold Waist Beta, Dante's Leather Boots, and a Handicraft 3 Charm. Now, after jewel socketing, the skills we'll have are Handicraft 4 to give us a moderate amount of white sharpness, just to help maintain that. Uh, Fire and Thunder Resistance 3, each giving 20 elemental resist and 10 armor. Next, we have Dragon Attack 3 to bring the weapon's elemental damage to 350. Critical Boost 3 to increase the critical hit damage from 25% to 40%. Weakness Exploit 3 for an additional 50% affinity to weak points. Next, we have Maximum Might 3 for another 30% affinity while at full stamina. And Stun Resistance 2 to reduce stun duration by 60%. Um, the other skill-free element, not really useful here. I did eat the food up buffs here to show you what you'll be looking at if you have an attack up, element res elemental resist, and defense up small food buff here on the right. Uh, but we're going to go... But we're looking at a massive armor of three or 530, uh, over 30 elemental resistance of each type, meaning you cannot catch Fire Blight or Lightning Blight. This is huge. Uh, let, let's go ahead and take a look at the jewels, though, to see how we achieve these stats. All right, so we have two Thunder Resist jewels in the helm and one in the chest, a Critical and Mighty jewel in the gloves, a Tenderizer jewel in the waist, and then a fire resist jewel in the waist and two more in the boots. Uh, but let's go ahead and showcase this set against the behemoth. All right, so we are going to go ahead and edit this here just a little bit. Uh, that way you guys get a feeling for kind of what to expect from this fight without having to watch the full 15 to 20 minutes.
Alright, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. If you did enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Also, if you do want to know what videos are due to be released, there is a schedule in the description link just below, so check that out. Also, if you would like to see a particular weapon or build, feel free to leave a request in the comments section below. And as always, happy hunting!